Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an online professional development course by using ConvertKit. Let's go ahead and start looking at ConvertKit.com. And I'm going to use a free ConvertKit account. There are a lot of extra features you can get in the paid version, but we're going to use the free version for this demo here. So I'm logged into my account. And the first thing that I want to do is create a place for people to sign up for my course. And so to do that, I'm going to go to the Grow tab here and select Landing Pages and Forms. And now we want to create a new landing page. And we can pick any landing page template that we like. They all do the same thing. The goal is to get people to put in their first name and their email address to express interest in being in the course. And once they've signed up, we're going to send them a series of professional development emails in which every email has a little bit of information and a do now type of activity for them. So I'm going to pick this template here. Again, you can pick any template that you like. If you want to put a video into your landing page, your sign up form, you can. I'm not going to do that for this demo. Let's just choose Archer here. That'll be our template. And let's rename it. And we're going to call this one Introduction to Google Forms for Teachers. And so my course is obviously going to be about Google Forms. Now we can customize any element on the page here. Let's just swap this out and write in Google Forms is awesome. And let's go down here and say, sign up to participate in this professional development course. You can fill in as much information as you like. I'm going to say that you know, this course is for those who would like to learn how to use Google Forms in their classrooms. Now, again, you could put in as many details as you like for the sake of this demo. I'm just going to try to keep it short and sweet. And I want to get people's names, not just their email address, but I also want to know their names. So I'm going to click on this plus symbol right below the email address. And now I want to select a custom field here of first name. And I'm going to drag first name above email address. So that when people see the form, they'll put in their first name and then their email address. And this is how I'm going to be able to personalize the emails that I send to them. And let's change this from, subs from subscribe to sign up. And let's go back to general styles. And I want to change out this background picture. And so to do that, let's change the background. You can use Unsplash, which is integrated into ConvertKit to find pictures, or you can upload your own. You can see here, I've already uploaded one. So I'm going to use that picture right there. Now let's save it and publish. And we'll get a link to our signup form. And we can give this link to anybody and have them sign up to participate in this course. And so let's have uh, Morrison sign up. We'll put in his email address. He's going to sign up. And let's say somebody else is going to sign up. We'll have Richard sign up. And Richard's going to sign up for the course as well. Now, you'll see that they have to confirm that they want to be in the course. So we'll get a little email that says, click this link to confirm that you want to subscribe to this course. And once they do that, they're in the course. So next, we're going to take a look at how you can start sending the content out 
from ConvertKit to those people who have signed up for your course. So we're gonna go back into our landing page section here, and we'll go back into the grow and landing pages and forms, and we'll see, there we are, we have two people now subscribed to Introduction to Google Forms for Teachers. Now what we wanna do is start sending them the content of the course. And the great thing about doing this through ConvertKit is that you can send personalized emails to everyone who is signed up for this course or any other course that you create. So let's go to send and we're going to choose broadcasts. You can see there, you can also create an email template to reuse. Uh, there's a sequences function that's available to paid ConvertKit users, and I actually use that in my real day-to-day -day job. But for our demo here, we're just going to use the broadcast function. And let's create a new broadcast. And in our broadcast, we're going to say, Welcome to Introduction to Google Forms. Part one, and let's add in some content here. So let's say, welcome to the course. And I might write in a little bit of information about how the course is going to operate. Let's say, every week you will get a new email from me. Each email will have some written directions and a video tutorial after watching the video tutorial there will be a do now practice activity for you to complete and we'll say something like if you get stuck or need help just hit reply on the email. Okay. Now, I wanna add a little bit more to this email. And I'm going to use the personalization function. So you'll see right here at the top where I put my cursor, welcome to the course, I have this little plus symbol right next to my cursor, right on the left-hand side. Let's choose personalization. And so we're going to send out personalization with the subscriber's first name. Okay? So we're gonna to add to that email. Okay? And I'm going to say, hi, subscriber first name, welcome to the course. Okay? And I can put a little comment in there. And so now I have welcome to the course. Now below this, I wanna add in some more content. Right? And so I'm gonna put in here a little divider button and now write in something like part one. And below part one, now I might wanna change that to be a heading instead of just regular text. Now below part one, I wanna put in a video. So we can see there's a video option right there, or I can also just grab this link to the first video I wanna have in my series and paste it in and ConvertKit is smart enough to figure out that, hey, that's a video. And so let's look at the video itself. You can change the video size, you can change the play button if you want to, and we can see it all right there. Now, if I want to continue to write more content, I can do so all the way throughout this email. Now, for now, I'm happy with what I've written. Now let's hit continue. And this is where ConvertKit, again, is really useful for sending out a sequence of personalized emails. I don't want to send this out to everybody who's in my email list, I only want to send it out to the people who have signed up 
to participate in this particular course about Google Forms. So instead of send, sending to all subscribers, I'm gonna change that and add a filter. And instead of all subscribers, I'm going to say subscribed to a specific form. And we'll pick that from our list, introduction to Google Forms for teachers. And we'll add that filter. Now we see I have two subscribers who are going to get this email and I can send it out immediately. Or you can see here, I can schedule it to be sent out at a later time. Let's say I wanna send it out you know, at 5.30 tonight. It's going to be scheduled for 5.30 tonight. Or I might wanna send it at 5 a.m. on Monday morning. So let's go back up here, 5 a.m. Monday morning. Now, what's great about this is that I could sit down and write out all of my emails in this entire sequence and schedule them in advance and then have people sign up and take this course during the summer or during a vacation week or some other time in the future. But I've already written out all the content and I can just schedule it to go out on the sequence that I like. So that's how you can create a professional development course by using ConvertKit and sending out course content via email. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.